Hi, welcome back to Life with R&R. &R. Tonight I'm gonna do a what's for dinner and I'm gonna be sharing with you a new recipe that I just found. So I've been really enjoying finding the recipes that are a little bit lighter um, on Emily Bites and Drizzle Me Skinny. So today I'm gonna make a Drizzle Me Skinny recipe and it is the Taco Fiesta Bubble Up Casserole. So I'm gonna show you everything you need and we're gonna go ahead and get it put together. So the first thing you're going to need is one pound of extra lean ground beef. You need one package of refrigerated biscuit dough. You're gonna need your choice of taco seasoning. You're gonna need one and one third cup of salsa. You're gonna need two cups of diced peppers. I did yellow, green, and orange peppers. One diced red onion. I'm gonna go ahead and get that chopped up. One cup of reduced fat shredded cheese. I'm actually just gonna use the regular shredded cheese. And then for garnishing, you're gonna want some green onions and I got some light sour cream. You can make it even lighter and use the fat-free sour cream. And then go ahead and get out your baking dish, which we are going to heavily grease. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and chop this onion. Our onion is chopped. We're going to go ahead and get our oven turned on and start browning our ground beef. You're going to want to set your oven to 350 degrees and have that preheated. And then you're going to go ahead and start cooking your ground beef. We're going to go ahead and cook this ground beef for a few minutes and then we're going to go ahead and add our taco seasoning to it. It didn't say to add any water so I'm just going to go ahead and add my packet of seasoning and get this mixed into the meat. And then it's going to just finish cooking up, probably about three or four more minutes. Our ground beef is done cooking, so we're going to go ahead and start putting together our casserole. First thing you're going to want to do is take your cooking spray. I just have some of this extra virgin olive oil, and I'm going to generously grease my pan. And then I already pre-quartered all of the biscuits, so we're gonna go ahead and take half of those quarters there and put them on the bottom of the baking dish. And I just evenly spread those across the bottom. Then we're gonna place half of the meat and half of the salsa on top of it. And I'm just gonna pour half of the salsa And then we're going to go ahead and add in half of the peppers and half of the red onion. And just kind of evenly spread it. Looks nice and pretty and colorful. And then we're going to go ahead and add half of the cheese. I'm sorry if you can hear my dog in the background. They know I'm in here cooking and they want to be right under my feet. Okay, once that's done, we're gonna go ahead and make another layer. So I'm gonna go ahead and put down the next um, biscuits, the remaining biscuits, and get those evenly laid out. And it's not an exact, you just kinda put them all in spread out throughout the pan. I'm wondering if you could use two ingredient dough to make this even healthier, but might not taste as good. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put the rest of the salsa in and the rest of the meat mixture. 
and we're just going to spread that around. I think this would also be really good using a ground turkey or ground chicken as well. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and just add the remaining peppers and onions. I like that it's so colorful. And then the other half a cup of cheese. Go ahead and spread this evenly. And then it looks like we are going to loosely cover it with the foil and bake it for about 30 minutes. All right, this looks pretty fantastic. Looks all cooked. We're gonna go ahead and get it out of the oven. I garnished with some light sour cream and some green onion. Now I'm gonna go ahead and give it to the taste tester and see what he thinks. All right, I'm giving it to the taste tester. Let's see what he thinks. You can see the puppies down here waiting for anything that spills. Very good. All right. I like it. You like it? Very good. All right, there you go. Very good. Definitely something to put into the rotation. Yes. Okay. For sure. All right, thank you so much for joining me for this What's for Dinner. And check out the Drizzle Me Skinny recipes because this taco fiesta bubble up casserole is fantastic. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye.